to day five of our Bible devotional, My Time with God Study by Joyce Mayer. Living on purpose, God desires that we bear much good fruit. See John 15, 1 to 5. That can only occur if we are people who live life on purpose. Each day, we should prayerfully think through what we would like to accomplish that day and then purpose to do it. If we are vague and thoughtless, it is more likely that we won't accomplish much at all. Fake people wait to see how they feel before taking action. But purposeful people take the proper action no matter how to feel about it. We live in a world of distractions and even purposeful people need to be wise and not get off track. Many things scream for our attentions and yet it is up to each of us to decide what God would have us give our attention to. If I need to clean my house today, should I do that or go shopping with a friend who called at the last minute with an invitation? If I need to pay my bills and balance my bank account, should I do that or get distracted by television and sit on the couch most of the day? Many people live frustrated lives simply because they do not live on purpose. When my day is over, I need to feel that I have accomplished something worthwhile. I want to have... I want to have made progress in some areas of my life. I believe that is a desire that God can place. That is a desire that God has placed in each of us. We feel fulfilled when we have confidence that we have done what we need to do. But we feel frustrated if we feel we have just wasted the day. Even if we decide to rest all day, which is something that can also be fruitful for our overall health. We need to do it on purpose. In short, my advice is this. Pray, plan, and stay focused on purpose. When you plan, she said pray, plan, and stay focused on purpose. When you pray about it, you get the inspiration of the Holy Spirit on what to get to, to what you need to get done at that moment and for that day. You write it out. And when you write it out, actually nice you always walk towards fulfilling them so for you to know that yes today you've done what you're meant to do you achieved it and it also add to your increase and progress prayer father i want to bear good fruit in my life i need your help in planning and in following through help me not to get distracted by time wasters that get me off track and frustrate me. Amen. That's the truth. You need God to help you to plan and when he gives you the plan and what to do, carry it out because it's actually one step ahead. It's like more like you're clamping the staircase. When you do what you're meant to do for today, the plan he has given you to do for today, you've taken a step and with that you get to what you want, what you want in life and your purpose. Ephesians 5 verse 17 Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Yes, always know His will. And when you do His will, everything works out well. John 15, 1 to 5 I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes. So that it will be give it will be even more fruitful. You're already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Walk according to his will. You can, you 
gain ascendance you ascend you you go to greater height because it will always work out if it's according to his will you'll be successful in it no matter how hard or tough it looks but as long as it's his will you find this very easy and you'll be so very successful in what you're doing and always make good use of your time for something good and great let us pray lord jesus thank you for today we ask that you direct our actions by the power of the holy spirit and always help us to do your will and achieve greater heights and become more like you which is what you want us to be on earth thank you for your mercy we ask for your direction and for the strength to carry up what you say we should do thank you for your grace and your glory receive all the glory lord thank you for you have heard and answered us in jesus most powerful name i pray amen happy sunday